In this lesson, we will study about chunks. Chunks, every piece of code that Lua executes, either a file or a single line in interactive mode is called chunk. So uh, there are multiple ways of running the code. One is you can enter into interactive mode and you enter some expression and you type enter and that line is executed immediately. And the second one is to write your code in a file and then execute that uh, which we saw in the last video where we created a hello world.lua file and we just printed hello world inside that file and then we ran the file. So a uh, chunk can be uh, thought of as a sequence of commands or statements. So it can be a simple, uh, as simple as a single statement such as the hello world example that where we just printed hello world or it can be composed of a mix of statements and function definitions. So some function f1, the definition of function and some statements and where we are calling f and assigning to a variable a. So uh, these all are different types of chunks. So the first way, let's see the first way of uh, executing the chunk uh, which is interactive mode. So here instead of writing your program to file you just enter into the interactive mode by typing lua and then now you are in the interactive mode and we are talking about lua 5.3 so there is a small difference with the older versions so here uh, you type this expression and it immediately prints this value then this is assignment so it will not print anything and here you are taking square of a and a was assigned 15 so it immediately prints so same thing if you wanted to do in older version you could you would have to proceed it with a equal to symbol so instead of a raised to the power of 2 you would have to write equal to this and it ha would have printed the same thing 225 but starting 5.3 that equal to is not required but even in 5.3 to maintain the backward compatibility if you write equal to it's fine it's not an error so uh, lua usually interprets each line that we type in interactive mode as a complex complete chunk and that's why it will execute that but if the line is not complete it will wait for more input until it finds a complete chunk and this way you can uh, define uh, multi line function definitions in interactive mode also and we will shortly see that in our zero brain IDE and uh, but I find it convenient to put uh, long definitions in file and then run Lua from the file so let's uh, quickly see some uh, example in our IDE so this is a local console so let's type 10 plus 15 and enter and it immediately runs it and prints 25 let's try the older way 10 plus 15 so only difference is that we are adding equal to sign and still it runs and uh, this id provides another way of uh, writing multi-line code it says use shift plus enter instead of normal enter so let's write multiple lines of code hello then i will press shift plus enter and print world and now if I press enter you see that it executed these two lines so hello followed by world so uh, we can also define functions here so we can write function foo and let's say this function prints just foo and in Lua you have to end the function body with end and we will see all of this later when we study functions and then we press enter and this executes it and this has defined the function foo now we can call foo so it will print foo which was the body of this function so this is the interactive way of running code now let's see another way another way is the do file method uh, where uh, you define all the functions inside some file let's say this is 
this this file mathlib.lua so you define some function definitions inside one file and then in the interactive mode you run do file followed by this file name so it will load all of these functions into the interactive mode it will be equivalent to uh, writing these multi line function definitions in the uh, interactive mode itself which we just saw here so here we defined a function here itself but it it's not it doesn't look so elegant way of uh, defining functions so we define it all the function definitions inside one file and then we load it using do file so it will immediately execute the file and now these norm and twice functions are present here and we are allowed to call these functions here so let's try it in our uh, ide so let's create a new file and let's save it as uh, mathlib.lua and here we will define the same two functions and then we will end the function and similarly define another function norm which takes two inputs x and y and returns the norm of these And now here we can call do file and the file name is mathlib.lua so it has loaded both these functions here now we can assign it to some variable like a equal to norm of 10 and 20 and if you print a it's it's nil it's not able to calculate the norm let's try the other function so twice it's able to do but norm it's not able to do uh, okay so we are not returning the value this is the mistake and now uh, let's load this again So now it's able to do that. So you see this uh, is another way of uh, executing your uh, Lua chunks.